There's nothing to talk about. Cop. I took an oath to uphold the law. This is evidence. I have to turn it in. And then what, Andy? You were innocent. We have to have faith that the system... Faith in what? Huh? The same system that put me in prison for a murder I didn't commit? The same one that almost put you away? Look, if you come forward and you say you saw my knife in that parking lot... You were set up. It's obvious. To you, to me, but not to a DA and not to a jury. To them, I'm a two-time loser, and you know what happens then. Is that what you want? What do you want, Antonio? You want me to suppress the evidence? Is that what you're asking me to do? gives me no choice. It gives me no choice. You think I want to do this? Fine. Turn in the knife as evidence. You'll get a medal and I'll get a one-way ticket to Statesville with another 30 years tacked on. But you didn't do it. Somebody planted the knife to make it look like you did it so you take the blame. If I can see that, Bo's gonna see that too. Right. This is the same guy that you went to on... I thought you shot an unarmed kid in Angel Square, right? Yeah, he listens real well. And then he handed you over to the DA for trial. That was different. That's right. He trusted you. He had every reason to believe in you. And he didn't. What makes you think he's gonna buy my story, huh? Me, an ex-con, who has every reason to dislike his nephew. Because you are different. Bo knows that you study the law in prison. You do legal work for his wife. If, if Nora has that kind of... Nora is you... not the commissioner of police or the DA. Oh, stop it! Come on! Everybody knows you turned your life around. You bought the diner for your mom, and look at how good she's doing. To everybody in Angel Square, you're a hero. Come on, Bo knows that. Hank Ganna knows that. You're the only one that doesn't seem to think so. Yeah, well, maybe I know myself better than they do. Look... If I get hauled in front of that DA, certain things are gonna come out that are gonna look bad. Very bad for my case. What things? Antonio, what are you trying to tell me? I've heard a guy's always looking for trouble, but when it comes to Patrick Thorne... waiting for a chance to nail me. And if you walk in with that knife... It can't incriminate you by itself. Not when we can find somebody who knows where you were at the time of the stabbing. Oh, really? And how are we gonna do that, Andy? When no one saw me? Somebody had to have. We'll go back to Nora's office. We'll ask around. Damn it, don't you understand? Look, it was all part of a setup. While Kevin Buchanan was being stabbed, I was being tricked into going to Nora's office because they knew that no one was going to be there to see me. You know no alibi. That's right. And without one, the knife points straight to me. Unless there is no knife. Tony. Look, Andy, you don't have to do anything. Just leave the knife there on the table. I'll take care of everything. You never saw a thing. I saw the knife. I found it at the crime scene. Come on, Antonio. If I don't turn it in, then I'm going to do something that I swore that I would never do again. I'm just wondering where I stand here. Huh? 
I mean, if your first loyalty is to the badge and to the law. God, I love you. I mean, come on, if you don't know that by now. I mean... It's what you do that counts. Think about it. I'll be back. I know my rights. You can't hold me without bail. Very good, Professor Thornhart. You get an A in American government. Of course, in this country, bail has to be set by a judge. And the DA just informed me that one won't... Every day? Yeah, me too. Antonio. For God's sake, let's calm down and discuss this. Uh, whatever it is. I knew you were ruthless, but this is just plain sick. What is it you think I've done? You didn't do anything. No, you wouldn't dirty your fingernails. You placed the phone call and had Kevin Buchanan stabbed. Is, is that what you think? Yeah. He wrote a few articles about you. You got steamed and tried to have him snubbed. But why stop there, huh? <laughs> Not when you can blame it on the next con who's going out with Buchanan's old girlfriend. Yeah, that's right, a perfect way to settle the account. First you get rid of Kevin, and then you pay me back for not wanting to do you any favors. Two for the price of one! Will you listen to me? Now, I didn't give orders for Kevin Buchanan to be stabbed, and I don't know how you can be connected to the attack. Are you telling me you know nothing about the knife? What knife? The knife that was used to cut Kevin Buchanan. My knife with my fingerprints on it. You don't know, do you? Then I say you've got a loose cannon working for you. Antonio. Is there anything I can do to help? No, please. Forget it. I'll take care of it my way. But if you're such a big shot, you better learn how to control your help. Or maybe you're not so smart after all. Kevin says he saw the perp toss a knife. Now, I want you and your team to go back over that garage again. And don't forget to question everybody who works there. Maybe they saw a car. Yeah. Maybe they saw a face. We already did that. Unfortunately, we couldn't Well, find then it. do it again. I'm sorry. But my nephew got stabbed. Now, I take that personally. You know, Bo, I want to find this perp just as bad as you do. But if we're talking about Carlo Hesser's men... Then maybe they, they toss the knife in the lake. We'll never find it. But we have to try. Andy, that's the job. Right? Right. Maybe, uh, maybe it wasn't Carlo Hesser at all. Who knows? Look, I know you've been at this as long as I have. Why don't you let your team continue the search? Uh, you just go home, spend some time with your uh, boyfriend. Don't even think about the night for a few hours, all right? Yes, sir. Thanks. Andy, um, in case I haven't mentioned it, I do think that you're doing a great job. And I think that promoting you is one of my better moves. Okay? Thanks. I 
I couldn't do it. When I went to give my report to Bo, he asked about the knife. And Andy. I lied for you. But it's not going to stop there. Bo knows that there was a knife that was left at the scene. Our only hope is to find the perps so that your name could get cleared. If you don't turn the weapon in, there's nothing too clear. You hate me for asking you to do this. Oh, jerk. If I hated you, I wouldn't have done this. I believe in you. You're innocent. That's all that matters. I love you for saying that. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. When I look at you, I... I see hope. The future. And I'll be damned if I let anyone or anything destroy that. I love you, too. seem to have gone all the way through to the other side. Attempted murder of Kevin Buchanan. Cuff him. Oh, sir, is this the life you're looking for? I don't even believe this is happening. Officer Andrea Harrison, you're under arrest for obstruction of justice, aiding and abetting, and abuse of official position. No, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I swear I can't explain this. I didn't do it, Bo. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. No, I didn't do it. No. Honey, it's okay, sweetie. You have your memory, all right? Are you sure you're ready for this, Corn? No. But if what I hear is true, we don't have much more time to waste. Tell me about this dream you were having. We were being arrested. Both of us? 
you were being accused of attacking Kevin, and I was being accused of withholding evidence. And I could be that for you. This is really getting to you, isn't it? Took an oath. Yeah. And is that oath, say, to follow the rules or to find justice? I know you didn't step, Kevin. Whoever did set you up by using your knife and then planting it where somebody would find it. Problem is, I found it at the crime scene. And the rules are clear. I um, have to turn it in. And when you do, you'll be putting me back on the next bus to Statesville. Look, Andy, we've been through this. Right? You've tried the rules, and look where it got you, huh? A trial for a crime you didn't commit. The truth won out, and, and I was clear. Yeah, because you had a lot of important people around you. You don't think there are innocent people rotting away in jail right now because they didn't have that clout? I've been thinking things over. Me too. What I'm asking you to do could put your whole career in jeopardy. What about if I turn the knife in? What happens to you? They trace you, they come after you, they put you in the slammer. I can't do that to you. Okay. Then give me 24 hours to see if I can find out who set me up. If I can't come up with anything, then you can turn the knife in for evidence. Then I'll brush up on my jailhouse law while I wait to see if the system works. Okay. But forget about the 24 hours and working solo. First, we have to back up your alibi. You gotta go over to Nora's and you gotta find the janitor or somebody else who can put you there at the time of Kevin's stabbing. Meanwhile, I'm going to go over to the hospital. I'm going to see if Kevin's got some information that might help us. Uh -huh. Well, it sounds to me like you've had the battle already won, Detective Harrison. I just don't want to see you get railroaded again. There's only one problem. I was supposed to be at the diner five minutes ago. Oh. It's my shift. All right, then um, go to the diner and go to Norris right afterwards. God, I love these. They're a present from my man. Oh, yeah? He must be quite a guy. I happen to think so. Don't get ready. You better hightail it. Alex, why did you barge in here like this? Because I wanted to surprise you, Jeff. Just to me. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> guy. So, figured out the problem? Oh, yeah. It's old. So what else is new? But it's fixable? Yeah. Good. So then what's bothering you? You've been so quiet. No. I'm just tired. How are you? Me? I'm okay. I spoke to Clint this morning. He said Kevin is doing so much better, they may bring him home from the hospital today. That's good. That's good. Yeah, he was 
real lucky. Yeah, he was lucky. He was almost killed. I lit a candle for him in church since this morning. Yeah, did you light one for me? Oh, of course. Even though I don't worry about you anymore. I lit one for Christian, too. My like Chris is fine. Yeah. But these days, he's always been so... feeling so angry at me. Yeah? Are you not angry with him? Oh, I am. Even though I know that I should know that I shouldn't be, I know. When I look every time I look at Mrs. Perez in the face, when I see her in church, I can see the pain. And I know that my problems are nothing compared to hers, and I think I should light another candle for her son. Javier, I wouldn't even waste your time. Yeah, but that's because you don't remember what he was like when he was little, when you guys were little guys. Well, I won't say he was an angel, but he had a good heart. But somewhere along the way, he, I don't know, the spark went out of his eyes, and... I can't believe he's working for that thug, R.J. Gannon. Are you gonna be okay? Do a while. I gotta go do something. Yeah, sure. So go. So what's bothering you? You look upset. Nothing. I'll be back before you even know I'm gone. Are you sure you don't remember anything else about the attack or this guy who jumped you? Sorry. Then we've got nothing to go on. I just don't understand where that knife could have disappeared to. Andy, I saw the punk drop it. I mean, where did it go? Wait, okay, so that's how it happened? Is it possible that this knife just fell while you were duking it out with this maniac? No. I was on the ground already. I'm sure of it. I remember thinking, if this guy stabs me again, I'm dead. So I kept my eyes on that knife. And he just threw it down and took off. <sighs> That's weird. Why would he just leave it behind? I don't know. Maybe the guy's a moron. Wait a second. Is it possible that this guy was just trying to rob you and then he got spooked and just ran away? Andy, he didn't ask for my wallet. He just started slicing away. I don't know. I took it kind of personal. Personal. OK, what about that? Um, is there anybody who might have wanted to target you? Uh, look, I hate to admit it, but I haven't read every article that you've written. Is there anybody I know, anybody that you've written about that might have wanted to come after you? Would you like a list? That may take a while. <laughs> but I like spending time with you, so. Kevin. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Hands off. Come on, Andy, we're friends, though, aren't we? I don't know. Not after that comment you made about Antonio uh, protecting himself, uh, settling his debts with a pool cue. It was a little uncalled Yeah, for. completely. How could you say that? He did kill a guy. In self-defense. Hey, Andy, I'm fine with that. But Antonio, I'm, geez. I mean, I mentioned it, and I think I almost blew up. Speaking of which, does he own a knife? Kevin, is that your idea of some kind of joke? Because if it is, you're really sick. Antonio would never do that to anybody, not even a jerk like you. Does that make it clear? This doesn't make any sense to me, Clint. I thought for sure when you threw in... That's what you skinheaded weasel. Open the door. Andy, I'm sorry. I should have mouthed off about a guy I don't even know. Every time I see you and Antonio together, I realize what a jerk I was for letting you go. I guess I'm just plain old-fashioned jealous. There, okay? I said it out loud. But that's not your problem. It's mine, and I have to get over it. So no more... No more jokes at your boyfriend's expense. How's that sound for a deal? Come on, Andy. I'm admitting that I was wrong here. You have to know how hard that is for a, a jerk like me. Hey, Kev, how's it going? I don't know. You better ask the detective. She seems to think I've had a relapse. He's doing fine, but he's just not much help. I was hoping that we might be able to get some more information about the attack. No luck. I just can't get over what happened to that knife. I saw the guy drop it. Kev, do you think that you could have uh, blacked out for a couple of minutes? Maybe the guy came back and picked up the knife? I don't think so. Well, there's only one thing that I know for sure. Andy is good. 
And if that knife was in the parking garage, she would have found it. But no dice, right? Right. 